Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me for this acrylic painting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a little silver ornament. Uh, we're going to try to keep it as simple as I can. It's kind of a complicated painting, actually, once I started looking at it, but uh, we're going to simplify it a little bit, so it'll be an uh, easy beginner project. I've got my husband, Mark, with me. Hey there, everybody. <laughs> He's going to chat during a live show tonight, so if you've got questions or if you hear elephant sounds in the background, don't worry about that. We'll... <laughs> Care about it <laughs> later. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> All righty, we've got uh, family in here today, so you're going to hear some noises that you might not normally hear in the studio, but that's all right. I'm going to carry on. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> We've got grandkid to here today, so it's pretty exciting. Of course. Hearing back out there growling. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm using an 8 by 8 inch uh, watercolor canvas board this time. Really doesn't matter if it's watercolor or regular uh, canvas board or regular canvas, really any size you'd like. I, I wanted to do it square. The original photo actually had um, a longer, it was kind of a portrait mode, and it had a lot of just burly empty blue space at the bottom so you could really do it on any size canvas you'd like and um, I have prepped the canvas with um, ultramarine blue and a little bit of cobalt teal and white so just kind of a mixture of a light blue really um, any light blue and probably I would have gone a little bit more ultramarine than, than this it's a little bit green so um, really whatever light blue that you want but kind of a medium to light because we're going to lighten it up a little bit more, but we want it kind of a, a dark enough color so that your white's going to show up against it really well. All right, let's go over our brushes. Just a few simple brushes. I'm going to use a 5 8 inch deer foot for um, adding some more kind of texture and things to the background. And then I've got a 3 8 inch angle shader, which I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use. I might use it in the um, greenery up here. And I've got an angle shader, quarter inch, and then a filbert, number four, and then a quarter inch blender and another uh, eighth inch blender. So just some sort of a small stiff bristled brush um, to give us some texture on our snow and things. And then I've got a number one round for some of our smaller details. And I've also got a brush for um, just doing some splatter. So either a toothbrush or a fan brush, a stiff bristled brush that you can do some splattering with. So because we'll have some snow. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It is. It's so awesome. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time. Of the year. And who's our brush sponsor? Yes, thank you to them and to Fredericks, our Princeton. canvas sponsor. Princeton is. I said Fredericks, our canvas sponsor, and Fred, oh, yeah, oh, thank I'm you, sorry. Princeton and Fredericks, our canvas. I was sponsor. busy singing. You weren't listening. I was singing. Burnt umber, burnt sienna. Yellow Oxide, Cadmium Yellow mead, uh, Light this time, uh, Thalo Green Yellow Shade, Cobalt Teal, Ultramarine Blue, and uh, uh, Quinacridone Magenta. And then this is uh, Unbleached Titanium, Titanium White. This is also un Titanium White, but it's liquid form. And then these two are Zinc White in liquid and um, heavy body. And then this is our Glazing Liquid. So, all right, I am going to start with I'm going to just go ahead and do a little bit more on our background so I did one coat on here but I'm going to go ahead and do another little bit of blue and make a kind of a little bit lighter you can see how the how purple the um, ultramarine blue is and that's why I added that cobalt teal to kind of make it a little bit more green but I kind of think I went a little bit too far on the green side but maybe not I don't know we'll see we're gonna add a, grab a little bit of that cobalt teal So I want to be about one shade lighter. That's about right. Let me maybe go even a little bit more. And I'm just going to grab some glazing liquid. And I'm going to just add some randomness back out here. Kind of in and around my thing here. You don't have to cover the whole thing. And I can use a damp paper towel. Just going to get a little bit of water on it. I'm just going to kind of smush it around a little bit. While that's wet, you could use a damp brush if you wanted to, just whatever works. So what I'm trying to do is just kind of push it into the fibers, but leave it a little bit 
And if you're seeing kind of streaks, you can go kind of a little bit more dry. That just means you got a little bit too much water on your brush or on your paper towel there. So I'm just kind of trying to add some like, you know, a little wintry, whatever I do. All kinds of, I mean, we've done this kind of thing with all kinds of different techniques. And really, you could have done this um, when you first put it on. So, like, if you wanted to get this kind of effect, what we could have done is, and I and I really kind of wanted this sort of effect, but I didn't want to confuse folks. So, I went with the solid first. Um, and then uh, over the top of this darker color. But really, if we had both of these colors, the darker one and the lighter one, to begin with when we did our background then we really wouldn't have to do this we could just leave it um, and just kind of use both flip-flop between the dark and light colors as we put them on our canvas and um, let them sort of smush together as we put them on but I kind of like this effect it's kind of giving us a little bit of different stuff going on in the background just an extra layer you know looks kind of I don't know and this kind of this will also catch any of the little areas that maybe you didn't catch or get the first time, get covered the first time uh, on your first layer. So make sure you go right up um, on next to your um, ornament. I went ahead and um, transferred my ornament onto my canvas first, so because we're kind of trying to save time tonight. So um, basically, circle. A little bit elongated at the top so probably the circle sort of uh, ends right about here and then so you add just a little bit at the top here cap it off circle here kind of smushed right here another one inside and then uh, one for the hook and then straight sides down and then kind of just split this into sides and do like a little scalloped edge right there and then your curved lines in on the sides and these lines will kind of follow this outside edge so just kind of watch that um, it'll kind of uh, cut if you kind of think about this being the center mark right here like where this comes down if you kind of just did an imaginary line uh, right down from the center right here to about right here this is where all these lines are converging so just make sure they all kind of start there and then kind of just make another imaginary line that's going to be somewhere up in here um, underneath and they're all just going to kind of go around like that. It's not really difficult. So I didn't think we had to take a lot of time on that part of it tonight. So I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, have safe travels if you're traveling for Thanksgiving tomorrow. It's in the U.S. We're going to be going to see some of our family. So we've got family here. We're i be traveling to see some more family, so it'll be fun. It's going to be a good weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Going to get to see my Aunt Nancy and Uncle Chuck, too. <laughs> and my mom and dad and my brother, Misty, and then my cousin Steph and her family. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And I haven't gotten to see Nancy and my cousins since, man, a long time ago. I don't even know been a while so all right so adding a little bit of this color here to the background and uh all right i'm gonna go the call that good how you doing hun you getting in there i'm doing fantastic we're on liam duty tonight after this so oh, looking yeah. forward to that. we got him some new toys so we're gonna be having a blast it's gonna be good yeah so we we went to the store we bought some food and got some toys. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and talk about painting. <laughs> I know you want to talk about painting there. Okay. Going, getting a quarter inch angle brush here. And I'm going to start with a bit of like the bright ultramarine blue here. And I'm just going to kind of outline. And I've really just got the tip of the brush. I'm just going to get a little bit of color right there. Okay, were you going to talk about I was about just going to say, so we spent that money on toys for him, and then right. just before the show, I was out getting a drink of water, mm -hmm. and uh, he comes toddling like a drunk sailor into the kitchen, because you know, he's still learning to walk. And what does he have in his hand? What? The, the power brick to his mom's cell phone. After <laughs> <laughs> sure. we bought all those toys. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. I know, you know. 
Whatever. We try. We're going to have fun playing with toys tonight. Whether Liam enjoys it, I don't know. But. Yeah, it's kind of like a Halloween candy. You get the kind you like, so you, so you buy the grandkids toys that you like to play with. <laughs> Exactly. All right, so blending in some white here at the top. And I'm going to go a little bit brighter than our background, so you can see that. There we go. And then just kind of smushing those colors together while... They're still wet. All right. Grab some brown, mix that with the ultramarine blue. I'm going to make a dark right here. There's a dark reflection right there on that little one right there. And that's really the darkest part of this whole one. And then there'll be some dark up. I'll bring this up just a little bit. There'll be some dark coming down from our branches. So I'll go ahead and use this while I've got, maybe get a little bit of burnt sienna. And go ahead and just kind of start where our branches are going to be. You know, we'll be adding more to them, but that'll give us kind of a starting place. Okay. And just make sure you're kind of pointing this one towards where this is hanging so it's got something to kind of attach to. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get some of this white. And I'm going to add some white highlights on this side. Grab a little bit of the dark in that, this color here and kind of make a in-between color and just kind of tap it there and let's tap it in on this side too. So kind of just transitioning into the darker, into the light. a little bit intimidated when you do that. Go to the light. Super, super zoom. Super zoom in. Don't be intimidated. This brush is a little bit big for this area. Ideally, you'll have one that's like exactly that width, but don't be intimidated. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Yeah. Don't let the painting win. <laughs> Okay, getting some blue here. Just mixing up some more of that kind of background color, sort of. Yeah, this one is kind of that. Plus a bunch of white. So a little bit lighter than our background. Now, right now it's going to look a little bit kind of forced, but once we get our other highlights on here, it'll make a little bit more sense. I think that looks all right. Yeah, that. Go a little low, I'm just gonna bring that up a little higher. There we go. It's that rapid change from this bright, this dark to this bright that makes it look that kind of rounded. Like that's what kind of sells it. So it's kind of kind of scary, but you kind of you need to do it. Just trust it. We'll make it look good later. All right. So that's uh, um, 
burnt sienna and yellow oxide mixed together. Burnt sienna was not on my original list, but when I got to looking at this picture, I felt like we just need to add it. We needed that little warmer brown, like more of a reddish toned brown. And then we're gonna dab it along in here. There's some of it up in here. I'm gonna wipe that off and just kind of pull that down. There we go. You catch it while the paint is still damp. Um, you can really kind of manipulate it pretty well. Just move it around where you want it to go. And adding some purple or quinacridone magenta to it to make kind of a brownish. I don't even know what this color is. It's a kind of brownish peach, peachy red, pink color. It's pretty close. Okay, let me add a little bit of, yeah, kind of salmon, I guess, sort of, maybe, but maybe a little bit more on the pink side. All right, so just on the inside of where we're going to be putting our, that's pretty close. I don't know if that's quite the color, but we'll see. Add a little bit of that here. All through here, right about this halfway, there's like a section of, I'm putting it on pretty dry brushed. I'm not putting it on very wet here, letting it be a little bit, let a little bit of that blue show through. Can they hear that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's an unhappy toddler in the background. Purple here, just making kind of a purpley version of this by adding some blue to it. Mm, a little bit of white. So it's actually going to be... Oh, that might have been right. It's kind of hard to tell right now because we're going to be lightening up this blue quite a bit. So, so, but we're kind of doing a little, um, just a little bit of an arc right here with it. And then let's bring some of this down this way. And then there's going to be some of this color in this crease right here. Again, very little paint here. I'm not having to press down very hard. It's just kind of rubbing off over this blue. It's coming off pretty nicely onto this color. So, it's showing up pretty well. And then this side has got more of the yellowish tones. I'm going to grab a little bit of cadmium yellow with my. Maybe a little light here. My white. And kind of mixing in a little bit of this color that I already had on my brush. So if you, if you have too much color on your brush, it's going to make a weird color. So just make sure you don't have too much of that other color left on your brush before you do this. Or just clean it off first. All right, so there we go. Really pretty bright yellow right there. Let's put some of this color on here. <laughs> it's just screaming. That's awesome. I think I think his daddy's getting us biggies. I can hear him. <laughs> I can hear him making noises. That boy has got some lungs on him. That's all I know. Okay. Go. It's going to look worse before it looks better. So kind of just know that going in. This one especially because it's going to need a lot of layers 
to get the look we're going for. So just kind of realize that it's not going to look really great going, you know, right at first. So if you kind of know that mentally, <laughs> prepare yourself a little bit mentally, um, then you might, you might not get as freaked out when you get to this point and it's like, this does not look right. Your brain's going to be telling you this looks all wrong, but we're just laying the groundwork for the lighter color. So this is all the stuff that's underneath all the other colors that we're going to be doing. We got to get that on first. Otherwise we just have kind of a flat looking ornament. So we don't want that. We got to have some stuffs underneath. Get some of that yellow. Go right up on that line. And then there's a little bit of the darker. Get some yellow oxide. And there's kind of a line right down there. may take a couple coats because this blue underneath is going to influence the colors a little bit. So as it dries, it may turn a little bit darker or may not be quite the right color that we want. So I'm going to know that. I'm going to tap some of this color in. Now it's going to, now you can see with that dark color underneath, now we can see that yellow over the top. It's going to kind of act. interact with it a little bit okay Get some of that yellow Feel your paint's getting sticky on here. Just kind of add some water. Keep, keep them wet while we're working. Okay, I'm gonna add some more. Yellow. bring that yellow right up to that line that we made with the yellow oxide. We can dab some more of it on. It's not a solid line, so just you can kind of just dab a little bit. It's just kind of a reflection of of these balls, these little beads that are on the this side of it. I'm not, I'm not simplifying this at all, am I? Not at all. It's not, I lied. This is the first of 17 layers. <laughs> she lies. You want to go a quarter shade lighter every time? <laughs> until we finally get there? <laughs> I told Mark it was like this could go really badly because... I have a feeling this could require a lot more layers than it looks like on here. There's just, once I started looking at it, it looks like a silver ball, you know, from the reference photo, if you look it up from far enough away, but it's a mercury silver, so it's got all these little weird patterns and things, and I don't think I'm going to go all the way there, but with it, I'm going to get close, but I'm not going to do every single little bit, but I'm trying to get the patterns at least to sort of look the same or vaguely resemble it. So. 
We've been really enjoying seeing all the Christmas stuff. I'm, Mark was saying, and it's fun now that we've been doing YouTube for so many years that folks didn't have to wait this year to start on their Christmas stuff until we, you know, got our new Christmas stuff out. You know, this is one of the this is only the second one on YouTube this year that we've done on in the Christmassy kind of paintings, but we've got so many from other years. We've seen a bunch of people painting our snowman and our skates and snow globes and all kinds of and the door. Ones. Oh, and the door, yeah. yeah. Just all of the different ones that we've done over the years. It's been really fun seeing that. I'm glad you guys are finding those and getting to paint them. I know this is kind of almost too late if you <laughs> you know we we kind of we don't want to do it too early it's kind of a catch-22 you don't want to do it too early because i want to get in all those fall fun fall uh paintings too but then then we get to here and i'm like uh it's almost too close to christmas to do anything new now yeah, we're we're we still got some time okay so we've got this is uh this is a little bit more pink just adding yellow there Adding a little bit more of that pink. And I'm just going to kind of add a Kind of random pink, a little bit of the blue. This one in here is going to have a little bit more blue in it. It's kind of a purpley colored. So, yeah. some somebody asked, where do they find all the Christmassy paintings that you're talking about? I do have. If you go to, just click on my name, and um, no, not right now. After this video, after the show. <laughs> Click on my name, and uh, it'll take you to my channel homepage. And right in, right on the page, there's a playlist that, um, if you're looking at a Christmas time, if you're not, then you can go to my playlists and look for it there. But uh, just all of the, it's got all the Christmassy paintings all in it that we've done over the years, and we've got several in there. I don't know how many. We've got a really good Santa. That's, mm -hmm. I would say, don't. Attempt it on your first try for a painting like so if you're a brand new beginner, maybe not that one because it's pretty advanced um, But the snow snowman for sure I've done several snowmen. Those are all really really easy um, And then they go up from there if it says e easy in the title That's usually the ones that are more simplified and better for beginners so if and you can kind of tell by the time it took me me too. So if it took me, you know, two three hours, then it's it's gonna be more advanced, not not beginner. You really. you might have it done by Christmas twenty twenty. Exactly. <laughs> that was a delayed reaction, but still a reaction. <laughs> Getting some more of this pink here, and just gonna kind of dust, and I'm li literally just kind of dry brush dusting over here, so I'm kind of seeing. And I really like the texture of this canvas because it's really a light textured canvas, so it's just it's not uh, adding a whole lot of texture to my um, paint when I'm dry brushing. A lot of times when you dry brush, you see a lot of canvas um, noise. You know, a lot of the canvas bits get it and which is fine I mean if it if you see that that's okay but I do like that this one is not showing a lot of that all right so I'm gonna get a little bit more of my magenta and get a little bit of burnt umber this time get some water I've got water on my palette here I'm just picking it up um let me see What level are we talking about here on this one? On this one? Um, this one's probably, it's probably going to be up there. It's not, it's not as easy as I hoped it would be. I kind of, I, I think I could probably simplify it, but 
I'm not doing a very good job of that, so. Maybe about a six. Yeah, probably. Something like that. Maybe not that much, but yeah. It's just got a lot of... Dry brushing is not that hard of a technique, though. So the thing you have to remember with dry brush is just, like, take most of the paint off your brush and then take off a little bit more. <laughs> so a lot of times um, beginners don't um, don't get that with dry brushing. They kind of overload it, and then they have a hard time with it. So really just, like, you can see me wiping off my paint. So I'm wiping off 90% of that paint off of there. There's just enough to kind of just barely kind of add a little... A little something something to my canvas here. Okay. It's the colors that are a little bit tricky with this one though. There's just a lot of blends of colors that are um, maybe a little bit um, gonna because um, you know just There's just subtle, subtle color changes that might be a little bit more difficult. But you can see how much I'm picking up. I'm not picking up that much paint here. So picking up a little bit of yellow oxide here, adding a little bit of that in here with this. So. I'm just having fun up there doing whatever he's doing. He did pretty good. He didn't uh, he didn't like us too much at the first about five minutes, but he warmed up to us pretty quick. But he still has to have mom in the room, so this will be the test tonight, whether or not he can handle it. Yeah, that's true, he did. She got to take a nap. All right, there we go. So there's our background. <laughs> well, we got some screamings going on. Okay, getting some pink here. I may need to go check on them. Oh, yeah. You're fine. Okay. They're fine. So. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how they survived without me the last five, six months. <laughs> Pretty sure they could figure it out. Just like we did. God bless them. I remember those days. Good to be grandma. Still doing a supersonic dolphin crying. Super high pitched. Maybe he's gonna be a singer. He's got some pipes on him. Like his grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's some talent on Courtney's side of the family wow. for singing. It's not coming from our side. <coughs> My, myself included. Man, better, My mom could hurts. sing pretty well, though. All right, this is the yellow oxide and yellow cadmium yellow light mixed in with a little bit of white. And just going a little bit brighter yellow here. And I'm going to keep this fairly... Fairly uh, rare here. I don't want to do overdo it with this color. But yeah, I want a little bit of a glow. And I think I can go a little bit darker right here. Get a little bit of that cadmium or uh, uh, yellow oxide and burnt umber. Add a little bit right there. And. right up along that blue line there and add back in some up in here. We kind of lost where we started with that dark color. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm going to grab some burnt umber, a little bit of an ultramarine blue. A little bit more of the brown, and then I'm going to grab a little bit of unbleached titanium, just because it's got a little bit more of a warmer tone. Tiny bit of blue, not a lot. I wanted this to be more on the brown side, so we'll see if this is the right color. Uh, yeah, it was pretty close. So I'm just going to do a few dots. Kind of almost like the reflection of this down here. I might add a little bit more of it up here. And I'm just using the tip of this brush. It creates dots in different sizes depending on how hard I press down. Down here I'm going to want a little bit different sized ones. I'm trying to see where I'm seeing this color in my picture. A little bit more of the... As we go down, we might get a little bit lighter with this. A bit more light hitting it. And this way, this time I'm going a little bit more, get a little bit of water there just to activate that paint. It's not wanting to come off. So going not as dry, I'm going a little bit more wet. But I still don't have a lot of paint on my brush. I want to be able to control this. How much is going down here? Okay, so let's add a little bit of this on our little a bump there. And then I'm going to grab some more of this blue. I've still got a little bit of that brown in there. More of the blue, and this is ultramarine. Grabbing some white. And I want a darker blue that's a little bit darker than the background color. So we've mostly covered up that background color. But you can kind of see it peeking through here and there. So I'm going to go fairly dark with this color and I'm going to start my dots. So they're going to start up here. That's probably a little too bright. So let's have a couple colors here to work with. I was checking on side cam. Oh. Showing you using the, the tip there. Yes. And as we come around the sides, they're going to get a little closer together. And the ones that are on along the edge are actually coming off the outside of the edge of the outline. So we're seeing them because they're sticking up from our ornament. So now I've got a little bit of white. I'm just kind of dabbing a little bit of that on each one of those to make it look shiny. Okay. Like maybe there's another one down here. Make it look like it's coming around the corner there. Okay, so that's woo, that's not right. I thought I had white on there, but I didn't. Alright. What? Kind of just thudded down that bottle there. Mm. So kind of at an angle here, I'm going to start this one here and it's going to go right there. The 
These ones are a little bit darker. And then again, as we get down to the bottom, they're going to get a little closer together. So just be aware of that. Somebody asked if you're going to use silver or gold paint in this I painting. I wasn't planning on it, but I I grabbed some just in case. But you could, you definitely could. Um, I could start singing that song. Don't. No. It's Christmassy. Yes, but. We don't have the royalty rights for it. I don't think they would recognize it. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, they might pay me to never singing it again. That's true. So now just going over with white and adding white dots. This actually get a little bit more of the darker blue. This actually has kind of a darker blue on one side. There we go. Try to keep these looking like circles. They're kind of turning a little bit oval on me. Okay, so I'm going to try this one with both colors on my brush. So I've got that lighter color on there and I'm going to get just a little bit of that darker blue on the tip of the brush see if that that's closer to what I want So taking him outside or something, I don't hear anything anymore. He's screaming something. Just a few of them up here. Just like four, maybe 
five. The high pitch squealing. Mm -hmm. Okay, got the teal and some white here. I'm gonna add some of that right here. Maybe a little bit less white. There we go. And then a little bit more of the darker blue. Right here, kind of right above it. There's like an inner circle there. So just kind of indicating that. And if you need to, you can put more of that ultramarine, darker ultramarine right there if you need. Lost it. Okay. Now let's add a bunch of our little dabs to it. So I'm going to grab that teal and some white, a bit of ultramarine. Pretty bright color, so let me actually try some green and ultramarine blue and see what that does. Kind of wishing I had my thalo blue out here, I think. Why is that? Well, this blue is pretty, pretty bright. And thalo blue is just really, this is close, but it's a little bit dull for some reason. I don't really know why. All right, so I'm gonna start dabbing. And there's just all these little random random dots in the mercury glass, the kind of areas where the paint is crackling. So we're dabbing back in some blue over the top here. Get some darker blue. And then right down in here, these are almost white. They're blue, but they're a lot lighter, so. Adding a lot of white to it. Use a little bit of my glazing liquid and see if I can glaze in the 
these dots. Going back over the parts that I've just glazed. Lightening them up. Yeah, I'm not loving that. some of these balls here with the little, little bit of this teal. I'm going to have to get that. that I think it's the color is just, it's just not doing it for me. There we go. That's the color. We're trying to get in. She's like, help me. Save me, Daddy. It's not that much difference, but there's just a little bit. You can see the difference here. There's a little bit more vibrancy to this color. Just feeling like it's going to do a better job of these in these bright areas here. Jump in your chair. Yes. Yes. She ran and jumped. But it was open, Daddy. She knew it was a race. <laughs> Can you hear it burn from here? See how much, hopefully, you can see how much brighter this color is. I'm um, just kind of, it's almost like the, there's just small webs of, of these other colors in between here. It's looking kind of weird right now, but hopefully, we'll get it there eventually. Oh, well, fingers crossed. Right now, I'm not. 100% happy with it, but I'll keep messing with it until we get it where we want it to be. So getting a little bit of white hair. Dabbing some of that on. Especially in this transition right here, there's a lot of white that's happening in between these that transition and then there's some here too there's kind of a white section so
And then we'll do the white over some of these areas where there's that reflection. So this kind of lighter area here, we've got that yellow. We're going to do white over the top. Same deal, just kind of dabbing little random bits of dots. And then all up in here. Cashmere. Somebody would like to know, is this an instance hmm? where white glaze would work? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be adding white glaze later, but not right now. Right now, I'm just trying to kind of get my uh, colors on here. But yeah, I'll be glazing later. That's what's going to kind of tie it all together, hopefully. Okay, we got another technique question here. Mm -hmm. They said, would it work as well to place the two layers of color on the spines as a line and then the lighter color as dots on top? <clears throat> <clears throat> Say that again. Uh, would it work as well to place the two layers of color on the spines as a line and then the lighter color as dots on top? Um, I mean, there is a, there is a line between them, um, that I'm going to put in here, but the, um, the blue part comes out a little bit farther and you can't see that white. You're seeing the blue is what you're seeing. So the white highlight is kind of in the middle of it almost. It's not quite, um, and in fact, I got to add some more into this one, um, I'm just going to dab in here. But you can see how it kind of, it comes out farther than that spine. So um, it'd give kind of a similar effect, but it wouldn't, um, yeah, I didn't, didn't need it there probably. Um, get a little bit of white now. I don't, I don't know if it would, because your, because your circle thing would be, um, would be only white if you did that. You know what I'm saying? Like you kind of need more some blue to to your circles. And so you could do it. You could do the line with a dark color maybe, and then do some of the circles with the teal or something, and then do your white on top. But I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm, I do. I was going to say I don't want to do it that dark, but I think I am going to, because I'm going to come back and add teal to them too. It's 
starting, starting, starting to take shape. This one's taking a while to kind of start. I think it's just because it's kind of a weird... It's got all these speckles things. Next time I'm going to just pick a straight bulb that's easier. But I've got actually um, like the Christmas candles that I did last year. I've got a bunch of bulbs that we did for it. And you could you could put one of those in here, substitute it. Um, you know, if you wanted to simplify this, it would be a lot easier. A whole lot easier than doing it this way. But, you know, this is pretty, pretty cool. I think we're getting that kind of effect of the, of the uh, mercury glass, which I like the mercury, mercury glass. We have a lot of it this time of year out in our house. So I saw this. I thought it was beautiful. Be fun. Cashmere, you need to be quiet if you're going to be in the studio. Kitty girl. She heard, she knew what I was saying. She's like, oh, I better be quiet. Mama's gonna kick me out of the studio. Just wait till I turn my head. Uh oh. Is that what you're doing? You're doing it on purpose. No, she's not looking over here. She's looking over towards you, so. Casimir, are you being good? Yeah? You want, oh, you wanna come and see what I'm doing? All right, well, come on over here. Come on. Come here. Come here. You're going to have to come hop across. Can you get over here? Come here. Come on. Oh, boy. Pretty girl. Yeah. What do you think? No. You think we're up against, Mom? Here, cashmere. No. Oh, she's going to Mark now. I'm going to show her the brush. Casimir. Kaji. Oh, she's... No, she's rubbing noses with Mark. All right. Um, okay, so... Um, let me go ahead and use this brush now. I'm going to use this brush, get the white, and we'll put our little... Details on the top of this dude here. So we've got that coming down. We've got a little bit of white coming down here and here, kind of. And then there's little dots along the edge. And some more little somethings, I don't know, can't tell. It's going to kind of make little marks in here. With it, okay, there we go. And then use this white again for right here. Now this is where we can shape out that. And make it make some sense. Dealy Bobs. And then on this side, we're seeing a little bit of that, but then we're going to have some gray. So we're going to grab the burnt umber and blue, white, and How are we at? Okay, seven o'clock. All right. So we need to wrap it up here. So we have a paint question saying um, that if they're going to use metallic paints, would you wait until everything is done? Yes. And then do it like yes. a glaze or something. Right. Okay. Yes. I've got the yellow blue here. I'm going to use the glazing liquid with it. And I'm going to glaze over some of these areas here. 
add some color. glaze on one side of these white dots here. It's easier to do with this smaller brush too. Now I've got cat hair sticking out my band-aid. <laughs> <laughs> myself chopping the onions earlier. Mm. Me and knives should not be allowed in the same <laughs> some of this phthalo blue, teal. This is phthalo blue, not teal. So I don't know why I keep saying teal. It's kind of more of a teal color though. All right, now I'm gonna use the liquid, the fluid white, run through that and really kind of just dab like a teeny tiny little dot on here on these and get it in the dark areas so I can see it. So pick an area that's got some dark maybe opposite where you've got your other light and try to get it real bright. You could do this with any of the colors that you've got going on here too. So if you really wanted to get fancy with this, you could you could add dots of the yellows, you could add dots of the pinks, whatever you've got going on here. Because it's gonna pick up, it's gonna be like a little mirror, you know. It's picking up all the colors around it. Now we're going to use the zinc white. This is our transparent white. I'm going to use the kind of scruffy, maybe. We'll see. And I want to add some little shiny bits going over and glazing liquid. My t my zinc white. Try to. Get some little shiny parts. This will kind of also sort of mute anything that looks weird, you know. So if you've got an area where the colors didn't blend very well, what's going on? You're showing that on the camera. Oh. 
What are you trying to do? I was trying to get this camera to work. Mm. Okay. Get a little bit of yellow oxide. Cadmium yellow light. Which a glazing liquid. I need to go ahead and get the titanium white, even though it's super opaque. The glazing liquid will help. brightness. This this brush will just help us keep us from getting too fussy about it. Going back over, I'm using the zinc white here. Or not zinc white, titanium white, adding some streaks, vertical streaks there. You see how that's working? That's really, that's helping. Okay, let me get all that yellow off. The trees are going to go like two seconds, so that's why I'm taking my time here. Sorry, I know they're waiting on dinner. If you need to go get Liam, I can finish this up without you if you need me to. Do it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so using that glazing liquid, a little bit of the white and just kind of glazing back over that sort of softening up what we've got going on here all the transitions between the colors and everything just want some really bright areas of like a pop of white some of these areas I'm not seeing anymore much but what you doing Liam He's just kind of checking everything out. Okay. Okay. I think I'm good there. He's jumping on Grandpa's lap. This is the unbleached titan or the burnt CNN. And uh, cadmium yellow light. All right. 
going to get some mm, zinc white. We'll get some zinc white with this brush here. And I'm going to just add some more little... Highlights in there, just a few places. Maybe covering up a little bit too much of my undertones, but I think it's kind of softening everything up a little bit. So, can see if we can turn this around? Okay. Uh oh, we can have Liam Cam. People want to see the print paper. Whoa, that's an ugly face right there. Hi, Liam. You can wave. Wave at Mom, Grandma. Hi. Yeah, Dad, I'm right here. Can you wave at me? Say hi. Oh, we can grab in your mic. Grab in your mic. The microphone is coming down. Gonna help out there. Yep. I'm taking the mic. There we go. We're gonna check out the microphone. I think this needs to come down a little bit so I can speak and this needs to be turned. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You hop in, Liam. Lots of noise in the... Okay, here we go. Okay. Glazing liquid. And, uh, burnt sienna and quinacridone magenta. <laughs> what happened? I was just trying to get into that go with the stand there. It's glazing. Just adding a little You're bit of color back in. International superstar. And cashmere is wanting back in yeah, now. I can hear scratching away. Okay, I'm going to call that good, and then let's work on our top part here. Mm -hmm. Zoom out a little bit. I'm going to grab the bigger brush. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's not... Um, I, I can see now I'm looking at the reference photo. It needs it needs this... So you've got this bright white right here. I'm missing the one right here. See? Um, so I'm going to have to put that in. Just remind me, because I'm not going to do it right this second, but... I do need to do that. I'm gonna grab the phthalo green and burnt umber. Mix that, it makes it a really pretty dark pine green. Might add just a little bit of cobalt teal to it. There we go. I'm gonna press my brush flat. I've got a lot of paint on here, so it'll go faster that way. And I'm just gonna dab right along that line quickly. Try to kind of go on either side of it and then come straight up the middle and just sort of rock it back and forth so you're getting... See that? What? I'm running a room over here. Between the cat and Liam? You got no place to sit? <coughs> oh, he's happy about the kitty. <coughs> Oh, the kitty is so exciting. Yeah. You might turn down your volume just in case right now. That's all I'm saying. He likes to scream really loud, so we might have a little bit of screaming happening. Be gentle with the kitty. We're trying to teach the soft touches with the kitties. She's pretty good about kids. She's pretty tolerant, fortunately. Okay. Yeah, it's a kitty. So, getting some darker areas because we got to get some dark here to 
Kind of, you don't want that stem looking, you know, looking so obvious. And I'm gonna get some of our blue that's our background blue. So getting some. <laughs> Liam, you're too cute. So distracting, okay. Trying to get this finished here. Teal, blue. And then this this color here, this this green. So there we go. I'm gonna add some of that in. That'll help disguise that that stem too. Okay. <laughs> Cashmere, it's okay. Cashmere's now behind. She's run away. <laughs> She's like, nope, that. Nope to that noise. I hope you listen to me and turn down your volume. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, my volume. But about mine is was that it sounded pretty loud. Because you're talking so soft, I have to have it turned up. Okay, I'm gonna turn. I'll start talking louder so you can keep it keep it lower. <laughs> okay, because okay, we can go back to mom and daddy. Just real quick. I'm almost done. Oh. About, about okay. ten more minutes. Maybe. It's okay, Cassie. Yeah. She's like, but dad, that noise was really loud. <laughs> what? People are saying that their dogs are heads are turning <laughs> or running, him running to them when they heard Liam. <laughs> I tell you, he's got a it's supersonic. That dog whistle. Yeah, he's got a supersonic uh, scream. You got it when we was a baby. Too. <laughs> Liam, no. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can pick out Grandma's microphone from here. <laughs> Okay, so just kind of throwing in some random, very close to the background greens to kind of, you know, add a little very light, like way in the background, something happening back there. But then the ones in the front will be darker, brighter. Baby fun when you can't just grab everything. Huh. Grandpa's not letting you have what you want. The Ooh, what? What? Some super chats? Yeah, they're super chats. They're yeah. really coming to the oh. cowbell. Ooh, Liam. That would be fun, huh? Liam needs to bring in his toy, his new toy, and he can play with that for the cowbell. Instead, it's got some good no siren noises on it. All right. Teal here. A little bit of white. Yeah, there we go. Is that like soft highlight color? Just a few. Let's get a little yellow too. Get a little yellow green happening in some of these. Yeah, there we go. That's a real pine needle color. It's got a little yellow in it. Yeah. Am I still talking soft? <laughs> Marcus got his hands full. If you could look over there, he's just like got jumping babies. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to keep him from falling on the ground. <laughs> okay, I need, I'm going to get some thalo green, thalo blue. Some of the burnt umber, maybe a little bit burnt sienna. Just a dark. There we go. Where are you going, Cashmere? She jumped in the back. Oh, great. <laughs> well, hopefully, she didn't unplug anything. No. 
He's like, I am not going towards that baby. <laughs> Going in the opposite direction of that. Yeah. That's funny. Okay, so I like that. Lots of different colors going on here. Know to everything. So I'm gonna go back to this brush here, grab my white, I'm gonna grab a little bit of zinc white too, the thicker, and I'm gonna go right along those edges. I'm just actually, I'm just gonna set it down and kind of pull. <laughs> Rowan. Now, if you wanted to, you could do, you could load up your angle brush with this too, and you could do that. You could do some more just with the angle brush. But I like the kind of fuzzy look. It just gives it a little bit more kind of a fuzzy snow feeling to me. But, and if you, you know, if you like get too many and you're like, eh, I kind of went over the board, overboard with the snow, you can always kind of go back in and add more of that back in. So let's try it with the brush and see if we like it better. This is the smaller angle brush. What's the brush that you're using right now? This is the quarter inch angle. But I had the deer foot stud. So that one looks a little bit more snowy to me. This is the quarter inch blender, Willow's blender. Yeah. So you're going to get thicker tips on your snow your thing, but it'll look more fuzzy. So it's just kind of whatever look you prefer. This is the cleaner look here. And then these are the more fuzzy ones over here. So it's whatever, whatever you like, that's what you should do. I think Liam was looking through my old notebooks earlier today and he liked the ti tiger a lot. You may have to frame up that tiger for his room because he liked it. He did. This is what you get for tuning in during the holidays, so <laughs> <laughs> you may or may not have babies. <laughs> this is the family show. That's right. <laughs> yep. oh, I like that. This is what the family does. Huh. Just hanging we out together. Talk. You talk a baby dog. No, you can't have my glasses. No, you can't have my glasses. Grumples? Okay, you don't love me if you don't give me your glasses there. I'm going to be very sad if you don't give me your glasses. Okay. Cashmere, what are you doing? You're still trying to find a place to hide? What are you doing?
have the power off? My headphones. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's know it up. More splatter and we'll be done. So I actually did want to do some dots with my uh, zinc white and the and the um, thing here because there's some that are a little bit bigger than others. I'm just gonna dab the heck out of it. And just try to keep it very kind of almost like a bokeh effect. Keep it very random. That's just toothpick and or um, Q-tip and a zinc white. I'm going to get the zinc white here, maybe a little bit of the titanium white, and the fan brush. Oh yeah, I was going to add a little bit more highlight right here. Well, I didn't add... Oh yeah, he's got the little fabric tank. Uh huh. The cap made us. Somebody said, "Remember the white." Yes, I just. Um, that's what I'm doing okay. right now. Okay. Thank you. And um, let me see if I can get. Let me see if I can get some random dots with this. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to use this and just kind of do some, like, random dabs here and there. Because there's some kind of medium-sized flakes here and there, so I just, this one, I'm trying to figure out how to, you know, get those to show up. This brush is about the right size. I have a tendency to kind of try to make a pattern, though, so I'm trying to not do that. <laughs> Try to keep it as random as I can. Let's do some more. All right, I think that's good. Let's call that good. We'll let uh, Jordan and Courtney go get some dinner. Alright, well then we need to... Actually, let me... Okay. Now while you do that, I'm going to add... I'm using titanium white because it didn't show up with the zinc white there, so... Cam. And here's the bell. Ooh. I'll try that, Liam. Need some work. Okay, well... We'll work on our technique. Get back to you. All right, I gotta get the, the chat message here. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, so last show we had a super chat that came through PayPal. Ah, yes. That we had missed. So a special thank you to Sue for the donation in the last video. And tonight's super chatter was Connie. She says, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Oh. Enjoy. Can't even begin to tell you how much joy your paintings with us brings me personally. Uh -huh. I've learned so much and continue to. X and O's. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much, Connie. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, now he's figured it out. All right. All right. All right. Good All right. idea, Grandpa. <laughs> Great idea. All right. I'm going to use the... I'm going to use this brush and brush on my signature because black is just going to be too much. And then, so this Saturday we will not be. We will not be uh, painting. Right, this Saturday. Yeah. We'll be enjoying some family time. Yes. Here in the U.S. Hopefully you guys will too. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, exactly. With you, Liam. Yeah. And then next Tuesday we will be back. What are we painting? <laughs> mm, my. <laughs> um, wow, we are painting. Um, what are we painting? Next Tuesday? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Subscriptions. I think it's. Angela. I kind of did messed up my name there, but that's all right. Let's see. Next week is the third. Is you see, wintry lake landscape. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. Very simple. It's really pretty. It's only partial uh, part of the picture there on the. I think the thumbnail shows all shows more of it, but anyhow, it's really pretty picture i think that'll be a fun one to do so all right guys i could fiddle with this more for another hour but i'm gonna stop really quick tell everybody about patreon yes if you want the traceable for this it's uh, up on patreon.com slash angela fine art it's a dollar a month for all the traceables that you would ever want <laughs> all of the traceables from all of my videos um for just a dollar so um that's all you have to pay and no matter how many you download and uh, for each month, you know, that you're a member. And it's a calendar month. Yes, right. So you may wait so, until December 1st. Yeah, if you want to, yeah, if you're not going to be painting until December and you don't need it right now, you might wait. It'll save you from getting charged again on December 1st. So um, I'm going to use the blue here. I'm just noticing that I could glaze maybe a little bit of blue. So I'm going to use the ultramarine blue and phthalo blue and just do a little bit of glazes right here. But on her YouTube but, channel, she has all the paintings scheduled up on there. So you can I do. check them out. Yes, you can see what the upcoming videos are for December. I've got all my December schedule out now and on Crowdcast as well. And so you can kind of see what we're going to be planning for our bonus videos for patrons too. Um, if you are interested in that, we've got videos that we do that are much more complicated, um, detailed paintings that we do once uh, once a month on Patreon. So all kinds of stuff on there. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a great holiday. Thank you so much uh, for joining us tonight. And uh, take care. Be safe on the roads. And we will see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>